everyone, it's Katie, and today we have an unboxing to do. Um, I recently had a trade, another trade, with Annika from Nobody Here. We've had a few trades now, um, and this one I'm really excited about, so I thought I would share it with you. Now, I have just opened this up, but I haven't uh, taken it out just yet, as you can see. So this is the Amethyst Oracle. Um, by Jessica Bott. Um, I've done quite a few cracked amethyst unboxings lately, haven't I? Um, so this is basically the companion oracle deck to um, the Idiosyncra deck that I got recently from Tracy from Temperance Tarot. And now I also have those um, little dice that I um, did an unboxing of as well. So I kind of have the, the Cracked Amethyst collection. Now, last time I checked, this is still in print, um, but I'm not sure if that's still the case. But I will leave a link to Jessica's Etsy shop just in case. Um, so it's very much the same art style as the Idiosyncra deck, just obviously it's not, not a tarot. Um, which means that the box is a lot smaller. Does it say how many cards are in here? No, I'm not sure. Oh, we have a... We have another... I have a few of these now. <laughs> um, okay, so they're not in order, but let's have a bit of a look. So it's just really cool and interesting. And not an oracle deck I was really, um, you know, had my eyes on until I got the um, idiosyncra deck and fell in love with that. This is kind of a question mark labyrinth. Okay, so these aren't numbered. It's, okay, see, I thought I was just looking at this and assumed that was 10. But it's not. These are their own symbol sort of things, I think, which is interesting. I wonder if there's any information at all about those. protection oh I love it's like a cave hidden away I love how in so many like even in um the BBC Merlin and in so many sort of uh fantasy-esque sort of shows you know they'll go through the waterfall into this magical cave and then come out the other side into like another world <laughs> poison that creeps me out a little bit <laughs> Air. I love this. I remember that there are like the elements in this deck, which I like. Lava lamp. <laughs> That's right. Interesting. Um, so a lot of these are actually um, have been incorporated into the dice set, like the lava lamp, for example. So I just feel like I have this whole really interesting, I don't know, little divination world. Um... It's really reminds me of the bushfires that we get here in Australia. Although also, I don't know if you've ever seen trees after a cyclone. It almost looks like a fire if the cyclone's bad enough. Just that sort of devastation. Resistance. The first thing I thought of was the bloody, the wall from, um, What's it called? I've just forgotten. The pub and Diagon Alley. We have to touch the bricks and they open up. <laughs> but also, also just a brick wall, right? Another brick in the wall. Truth. Oh, we have like a saucer up here. Very cool. Water. I love how we have like the rain and the ocean. Because then we kind of have like the fresh and the salt water, which I like. Because I to me they both have very different energies, very they feel very different to me. Ritual. I like this. And we have like lots of little symbols and things on the altar there. Omen. Ooh. So it's a an eclipse. But we know that a lot of cultures have taken that to mean quite serious serious things time i like how we have the um the hourglass but then we also have the poppies here 
um, you know, alive and then dead. So there's that transition of time that we see in the flowers as well as literally in the, the hourglass. Tranquility. Isn't that pretty? Okay, so here we have the title card. I'll leave that out. Collection. I love these um keywords. I love this how there's like again a lot of different types of fire, which I think is really cool. Um, but we do have a lot of really interesting keywords in this deck, like some of the more classic ones. Fear is not too far out of the box. But then we have a few other interesting ones too. Refresh. I'm not sure whether that's supposed to be like a mountain range and you're high up or if it's like fog over an ocean. It's really pretty colours though. Magic. I like this. Passivity. I like this. It's very like going with the flow because the jellyfish, they don't really have a whole lot of active. They're not, they're not very active. A lot of them aren't even, like, I don't think they're barely even sentient, a lot of them. Um, just like a muscle or whatever it is that just kind of goes along with the currents. Day. Very pretty. I love the dandelions in the, um, the, um, idiosyncratic, idiosyncratic tarot. So I really like this. I just have a thing for dandelions. I love them. Innocence, bubbles, I love that. I think it's perfect. Night. So we have day and night, which is cool. Empty. I definitely feel that. Vast, vast emptiness. These symbols are really interesting to me. Energy. <laughs> Definitely thunderstorms always make me feel like, make me just feel really buzzed and hyped up. Summer. Are these flies? Because that is perfect for summer. I really like this. I feel that. Winter. See, this is an experience I'm less familiar with, but it is very pretty. Kind of stereotypical winter that I've never experienced, but it is pretty. Perspective, that's really cool. Like, is that like the underside of mushrooms? Feels like we're a little ant. The loopy arrow, that's um, on one of the dice. Maybe more of these are, I'm not sure. Autumn, very pretty. Confinement, I like this a lot. We have like these little terrariums, is that what they're called? And they're plugged up. And they're very pretty but nothing comes in and nothing goes out, except some sunlight. Best friends. I had one of these necklaces in primary school. Chai, love it. Love a good chai. Oh, and I love how even up here we have the tea bag as the symbol. Ah, oh, it's perfect. Chaos, I like that. I like that a lot. I think that works really well for chaos. Overwhelm, <laughs> a big ass wave. Yep. Science, very cool. I like this. Again, not something I really see. <laughs> oh, this really appeals to me. I mean, I have so many books, but mine are not organized like this. It looks really good though. Maybe, maybe one day. No, I have mine more organized. Well, I have a Margaret Atwood shelf. Does that count? <laughs> That's about as organized as I get, keeping my Margaret Atwood books together. No, but it's really pretty. I love it. I love how we have like these witchy sort of touches and then just a bunch of books. Earth. Again, the so, it's so earthy. You know, it's not just a picture of, st of a stone or you know, it's just kind of like the log and the mushrooms and the death and like how 
the earth kind of takes everything back and regenerates it. We have the forest, like it's just so earthy. Everything about this picture is earthy. Precarious indeed. It feels a little fool-like, doesn't it? Perhaps just on the edge of the cliff, sort of a... And spring. Again, not really how I experience spring, but it is quite cute. I like it. So the cool thing is, um, this is exactly the same cardstock by the feels, same size um, as the tarot deck. This is the tarot deck, this is the oracle. Um, and even the same backings really, just different colors. So they're definitely, you know, a pair, which, which is pretty cool. And even the way the image is set up on the card, um, they look pretty well the same. Um, with that big white border, the card and the, the image in the middle, the title at the bottom with a symbol or number up the top. Like they very, they look like they almost could be the same deck if you, you know, ignored the tarot system. So they're definitely, definitely a set. And they do look really cool, kind of just laid out together. Very pretty. Um, but this may be the quickest unboxing ever because I have to go. Um, I just really wanted to open this up while I still had the light um, and share it with you guys. So I do hope you enjoyed. I'm so, so thrilled to have this whole set that I didn't even intend to really have until about a month ago. It's very exciting. Um, so thank you, Annika, for our trade. Uh, it arrived safely and it's beautiful. And I will talk to you guys all again very soon. So much love. Bye.